A Yemeni detainee at Guantanamo Bay who had been on a long hunger strike apparently committed suicide last week. His death was the first at the prison since President Obama took office. The 31-year-old detainee was identified as Mohammed Ahmed Abdullah Saleh al hanashi He had been imprisoned in Guantanamo since 2002. Pentagon officials say he was a Taliban fighter. Hanashi maintained that he had never killed anyone. David Reams, a lawyer who represents 16 other Yemeni prisoners at Guantanamo, says that Hanashi had been one of seven prisoners kept in a psychiatric ward at the prison and that he had been force-fed in a restraint chair. The lawyer says all the detainees in the psychiatric ward were kept under sedation. Guantanamo records show that Hanashi's weight at one point fell to 87 pounds. Although the death is the first in the Obama administration, there have been five prior deaths at the camp, including four suicides. Shiana Karidal, a lawyer at the Center for Constitutional Rights, which has coordinated Guantanamo cases, says the death of a psychiatric patient raises questions about the quality of care and would increase pressure on President Obama. He said, quote, every day that passes makes it more likely that people will die in detention on President Obama's watch.